Buzz politics. I'm Don Newman. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Boxers better than briefs. Well, uniting the right into the new conservative party is all the buzz in Ottawa. Joining me is opposition leader and head of the Alliance Party, Stephen Harper. Hello, Stephen Harper. Conservative Party rules. <laughs> oh, I'm so giddy I can hardly sleep during question period. <laughs> Do you really think Unite the Ride is a good idea? Mark my words, Don. The winds of change will blow away the clouds of discontent that brought the thunderstorms of confusion into the high-pressure area of democracy with a chance of frost in cottage country. <laughs> and what exactly does that mean? I'm not sure. Joe Clark gave it to me. Well, Stephen Harper, what do you make of PC leader Peter McKay? He made a pledge to fellow Tory David Archer never to unite their party with your alliance, and then he turned around and broke his promise. That guy's a born leader. <laughs> but David Archer is livid and says he was betrayed. Don, I understand his concern, and I, I say this with all sincerity. Screw him. <laughs> Now, do you and Peter McKay have the necessary experience to lead this new party? Absolutely. Between the two of us, we have almost two years of leadership under our belts. <laughs> well, clearly, many people feel the only way to beat the liberals is a united right with Mike Harris as leader. What's your point, puppet face? <laughs> okay, bottom line, what does the future look like for the new Conservative Party of Canada? Well, I see a glorious new era for our party. Lots of backstabbing, infighting, betrayals, selling out, and dirty tricks. And how's that a good thing? Oh, it sure as hell is working for the liberals. <laughs> I'm Don Newman. Goodbye for now.